I love the sport of wrestling. As much as you can love anything, how hard you work, what you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. Sammy always seemed pretty invincible. I've seen him come in the room and have four or five guys rotating in on him and go live and be in the middle for an hour. Reversal for Sasso. Has the cradle locked Looking up. for that cradle. He's been ready to win an NCAA title since he stepped on campus. Sammy has been in the national finals twice. He's a two-time Big Ten champion. This is as an elite of, a, of an athlete that walks on the planet. This year was supposed to be his swan song. There's actually been many times when you're driving to work and thinking about like the moment that you thought was gonna happen. The night of August 18th, 2023, I had just gotten back from vacation and was heading over to some of the teammates' houses. On my way there, um, I was shot in a carjacking. He shot in his lower abdomen on the left side. You know who did this? No, uh, it was a drive-by. They jacked his car. I was shot in the stomach, went through and shattered my colon, and then shattered my L5 vertebrae. You know, you're just trying to keep breathing and uh, just <laughs> tell yourself to, to make it to the next day. I was at dinner and my phone was vibrating. We were at the dinner table, so I was trying to ignore it, but it vibrated again. It was my supervisor, Carrie Hoyt, and she informed me that Sammy was, was shot. And you know, there are, there, are, there are things in life that, quite frankly, are the unthinkable. And I ask those questions, is it life-threatening? Yes, it is life-threatening. You get shot in the stomach and the odds aren't good that you're going to make it. You're on our way back from the U-20 World Championships. The hard part was I had to go and kind of tell you know, my family who and seen them for, for seven days and they were so excited and like, like had signs and I was like, Ooh. like stop. There's no script for this, no playbook. It was just like, what do you do? What, I mean, there's nothing I could do. Honestly, I kind of thought it was a joke. You hear that and it's about someone that you know deep on a personal level. You just kind of forgo it and think like, oh, like, it's not possible. Okay, this happened, but how's he doing? Looking for some reassurance, like, is my guy gonna be all right? You know, it was a pretty sleepless night, up till probably 4 a.m., wondering if one of my good friends is gonna be alive in the morning. Luckily, I had a good doctor, and he took good care of me and saved my life. We were all waiting until the surgeon came out. And literally, it's a smidget here, further this way, a smidget this way. I mean, there were so many ways it could have been catastrophic. And it wasn't. The doctor just walked down the hallway and said, yep, we saved him. He, he, he's alive. Getting to go in and see him that first time and and give him, tell him I love him, and you know, it was, uh, it was a lot. Some days would be good, and be like, hey, you know, really good outlook, and then, oh, this test came back. There's some complications here, so you kind of ride in this wave a little bit. My spinal doctor has to tell me that there's been damage to my L3 nerve. You went from, you know, you're gonna walk out of here in a week to you might not walk again. He's Superman, you're like, dude, he's the toughest guy on the team. You see Superman laid up, and you're like, damn. I just saw this powerful man turning into just, he lost 30, 40 pounds. There were a lot of sleepless nights. 
the pain, the discomfort, your back's broken. But then I just always tried to stay positive. One of the times I went in, I knew it was himself when he looked at me and he was like, yeah, I mean, I'll still take in best of three takedowns. The idea of wrestling, again, has played a big factor. Every day, I got better and better. It was honestly unbelievable. His therapists are learning that his desire to walk and wrestle again is so strong that they're seeing some pretty unique things happen. I got released from the hospital after 41 days. And uh, my first stop was here, Jennings Wrestling Facility. First guy I see is Buzakis. He tries to give me a hug. I'm like, who? Oh, you sweaty boy. You get back to wrestling, you shake my hand. I'm not hugging you right now. I'm like mid go in on a high crotch. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the heck is Sammy doing here? And I'm like wrestling like this, just staring at him the whole time. You know, we finished our practice and we got all around him and he just, you know, just talked to us, human to human. The team kind of felt complete again. Skullbucks on three. One, two, three. Skullbucks. I think everyone was just, okay, let's go. Sammy's back. He's very good at talking to himself. Very good self-talk. He did it when he competed and he's doing it now where he's telling himself, hey, you know, Sasso, you gotta get tough. He knew, like, not getting tough would be failure. The surgeon says, if he has to wrestle on his knees, he'll wrestle again. Like, nothing's gonna stop him. As soon as, like, I was all right to do a little bit of wrestling, you know, I was on the mat. And uh, I got a lot of work to go, though. Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Sam! Our team, we talk a lot about gratitude. And then you have a situation like Sammy where you're witnessing the guy was the favorite to win the Nationals and it was taken from him. I'm playing scenarios already where this will be a transforming moment for him and his life, but also for many people he'll be able to share his story with. I've visualized Sammy winning NCAA titles for the last five years. That kind of pales in comparison to the visualization that I have of him running out of that tunnel for the first time. The roar of that crowd, I think, would be probably the most electric atmosphere Cavelli's ever felt. When you have a tough match or a tough weight cut or a tough wrestling practice, before I thought that was tough. And then you got to go through what I went through and that wrestling practice isn't tough anymore. It's just what you love to do.